Here's a warm hello from Eastern Communications. We are here to present a refreshing point of view that when it comes to delivering business communication solutions, it's time to bring back the human connection because it's just as important as the technology. Eastern Communications is business made personal. It means getting intimate with our clients' needs so we can provide thoughtful solutions to help them achieve their goals. That's why we are Madaling Kausap May malasakit. We are maalam at maaasahan. This is what sets us apart from all others. When we have a heart for service, our every move seeks to meet the needs of our clients. Our clients are happy when their needs are met. When they're happy, they're in a better position to make their own customers happy. You see, beyond advanced communications technology, we see the people who will use them. And so, we see problems that must be solved. For every challenge, there is a happier outcome. Every goal is the destination. We see every relationship that must be strengthened. As we do all we can to offer technology that is always solid and reliable, we never lose sight of our brand of personalized customer service. It's a connection that is both high-tech and high-touch. We see a customer who will be glad to know that our connection is as reliable as our commitment to personalized customer service. Unwavering, unflagging, and undeniably strong. High tech and high touch. That's our strong connection. We are Eastern Communications.
Here's a warm hello from Eastern Communications. We are here to present a refreshing point of view that when it comes to delivering business communication solutions, it's time to bring back the human connection because it's just as important as the technology. Eastern Communications is business made personal. It means getting intimate with our clients' needs so we can provide thoughtful solutions to help them achieve their goals. That's why we are Madaling Kausap, May Malasakit. We are Maalam at Maaasahan. This is what sets us apart from all others. When we have a heart for service, our every move seeks to meet the needs of our clients. Our clients are happy when their needs are met. When they're happy, they're in a better position to make their own customers happy. You see, beyond advanced communications technology, we see the people who will use them. And so, we see problems that must be solved. For every challenge, there is a happier outcome. Every goal is the destination. We see every relationship that must be strengthened. As we do all we can to offer technology that is always solid and reliable, we never lose sight of our brand of personalized customer service. It's a connection that is both high-tech and high-touch. We see a customer who will be glad to know that our connection is as reliable as our commitment to personalized customer service. Unwavering, unflagging, and undeniably strong. High-tech and high-touch. That's our strong connection. We are Eastern Communications. Here's a warm hello from Eastern Communications. We are here to present a refreshing point of view that when it comes to delivering business communication solutions, it's time to bring back the human connection because it's just as important as the technology. 
Eastern Communications is business made personal. It means getting intimate with our clients' needs so we can provide thoughtful solutions to help them achieve their goals. That's why we are Madaling Kausap, May Malasakit. We are Maalam at Maasaha. This is what sets us apart from all others. When we have a heart for service, our every move seeks to meet the needs of our clients. Our clients are happy when their needs are met. When they're happy, they're in a better position to make their own customers happy. You see, beyond advanced communications technology, we see the people who will use them. And so, we see problems that must be solved. For every challenge, there is a happier outcome. Every goal is the destination. We see every relationship that must be strengthened. As we do all we can to offer technology that is always solid and reliable, we never lose sight of our brand of personalized customer service. It's a connection that is both high-tech and high-touch. We see a customer who will be glad to know that our connection is as reliable as our commitment to personalized customer service. Unwavering, unflagging, and undeniably strong. High-tech and high-touch. That's our strong connection. We are Eastern Communications. Eastern continues to emerge stronger. Enabled by our reliable connectivity and cutting-edge technology, backed up with unwavering support and commitment to service, Eastern provides agility and efficiency for businesses across the country, and we are just getting started. In 2022 and beyond, seeing your businesses prosper through our expansion is our mission. Via Eastern, connectivity will be stronger nationwide, welcoming a new decade of pride. With Eastern, you can look forward to a brighter tomorrow 
through our innovative and creative solutions, helping you grow your businesses as your esteemed partner of choice, forging new, true, and trusted connections. Join us, because together, we emerge stronger. Welcome to Via Eastern, forging true connections. And we are live! Wow! Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat, mga ka-Eastern. It's so good to see you all for our 2022 Via Eastern Series. At maraming salamat sa pagdalo ngayong hapon kasama namin sa Eastern Communications. At syempre, we at Eastern Communications are so happy to share new and exciting news for the year ahead. And we are also honored to have a lot of our partners, both old and new faces, among the crowd this afternoon. My name is Apple Grace, and it is my absolute pleasure hosting for Via Eastern Forging True Connections. Now, before we begin our Dear Ka Eastern, if you hear your department, your team, or your company being mentioned, please say a quick Via Eastern hello or hi in our chat box. So let me give a quick shout out to the following attendees this afternoon. So hello to the members and board members of the following groups. Hello po sa members of the Metro Naga Chamber, members of the Albay Chamber, invitees from Sorsogon, members of the LGUs, Mancom members, and the rest of our team Eastern Communications attendees. Welcome, welcome everyone. Wow, I am filled with so much excitement to be here with you this afternoon because Maka Eastern, we have a great show ahead of us today where you can look forward to an amazing speaker. We have Miss Kuki Bartolome who will be talking about the digital shift the transformation of a traditional media giant. Wow, super exciting. So for any questions at any point of the conversation, please type it in our chat box and we'll make sure to address all of your questions later on. Our dear Ka Eastern, we will be starting in a few minutes to let more of our partners get comfortable and join in on our live stream today. In the meantime, I would like to invite you all to visit our website. It's at eastern.com.ph and also like and follow us at Eastern Communications social media platforms. We're available on Facebook, so that's facebook.com slash eastern.com.ph. We're also on Instagram. It's instagram.com slash eastern.com.ph and on LinkedIn. It's linkedin.com slash company slash eastern dash communications. And of course, we are also on YouTube. So just type in Eastern Communications. You can actually see it in my screen flash. And also, if you want to post about our Via Eastern event today, please do not forget to include our hashtag. So we have three. We have hashtag Via Eastern 2022, hashtag We Emerge Equal, and hashtag Eastern Communications. And while you are at it, our dear partners, let us ask ourselves, okay? What do we mean when we say forging true connections? Okay, personally for me, connections, it is the connections that I already trust. And then I nourish it and strengthen them through the little things that I do. Like for example, connecting with my loved ones, or even connecting with my inner self for peace of mind and the heart. So dear partners and our Ka Eastern, I encourage you to share with us your definition of forging true connection. Okay, sound it all off in our chat box. And who knows, we may be sharing the same thoughts or better, we will be igniting new ideas and open our eyes to the things we might have found to be menial or insignificant before but actually adds and makes up the values and the requisites we hold about the subject true connections and that we will eventually uh, give us an insight to your pain points to your happy points so we know how we can serve you better because we want our partners kayong mga ka-easter namin 
to be able to emerge from all your challenges and adversaries and to be able to forge those true connections with us. Because we at Eastern Communications have also been supporting each other in emerging from our challenges and have been hard at work putting together an exciting 2022 for all of you. And we are beyond thrilled right now to kick it off with our Via Eastern series. All right. So hopefully today, our dear Ka Eastern, we get to empower you all throughout showing what we can do for you and your businesses. So you will eventually emerge into the success that you want to achieve. Okay, so here to welcome our guests and introduce our chamber representatives, as well as talk a bit about Eastern Communications is none other than the head of sales. Let us all welcome Mr. Michael Castaneda. Twenty twenty two marks the start of seeing the connections we've built in the past year. And we're more than thrilled to have you here with us on the ride. At the beginning of the year, as we emerge victorious together through the ups and downs, we are here to continuously support our Ka Eastern throughout the way. We have realized that there is nothing more solid and stable as the connections we have with our dear Ka Eastern. And we wish to deepen that connections as the years go on. VIA Eastern is one of our initiatives to make sure we keep you all in the loop. At the same time, it is a space for us all to learn something new and refresh our memory in the hopes of forging truer and more stable connections. Let's emerge stronger together, mga ka Eastern. It is my distinct honor to welcome Ms. Rosemary Quinto Ray, the current president of Albay Chamber of Commerce, Trade and Industry. She continues to be a champion of technology and being at the forefront of progress and growth. Through her, the chamber, alongside her other associations, will continue to be a key part in Legazpi City's growth. I would like to welcome once more Ms. Rosemary Quinto Ray. I would also like to introduce Mr. Mario Villanueva, the President of Metro Naga Chamber of Commerce, as well as the President of Naga College Foundation Incorporated. As he continues to guide Naga College through the legacy and guidance of his grandfather, he too will likely use the lessons he learned from his family to further pursue success for Metro Naga Chamber. Once more, a round of applause for Mr. Mario C. Villanueva. Thank you, Mike. Whereas greetings to everyone, the Albay Chamber of Commerce and Industry would like to send our warmest greetings to all the participants in today's event. The launching of Via Eastern in Bicol. So we're headed by the Eastern Communications and all other partner agencies and experts and bringing this virtual occasion with the theme, Forging True Connections. As part of Legazpi City's drive in maintaining one of the most livable cities, one of the most business-friendly cities, as well as considered as one of the digital cities in the Philippines, we welcome Eastern Communication to our beloved place and we thank you in advance for including us in your circle. On our part, we are here to support and collaborate with you in the best way we can. We are more than happy to be part of this event and of course looking forward to a stronger collaboration. To fellow chambers and all the participants, let us all be happy because this is good news for all of us. With the opening of businesses means more employment opportunities, bringing more economic activities on our respective localities. With this launching, we would say that this serves as another milestone for all of us, thriving and innovating more towards reaching our goals. Once again, 
my Chamber of Commerce in Industry would like to congratulate and sending our best of luck to the Eastern Communications. Thank you very much and stay safe. Good afternoon to the Eastern Communications Management staff, engineers, technicians. Thank you for coming to Naga. The effect of the pandemic has changed the landscape of businesses, not only in Naga, but in the whole of the Philippines and in the whole world in general. We now need modern technology to be ever-present and pervasive on both in individual and business level. There is a high level of usage of information communication technology in organizations of all sizes, especially during the past pandemic and moving forward to this endemic. The platforms that are built on top of them are important to all. They assist employees in doing several things, including but not limited to communicating with clients and his others, preparing and transmitting documents and files, surfing the internet and completing research, conducting electronic transactions. So I do hope that Eastern Telecom, being the only first and only major telecommunication company to secure the prestigious ISO 9001-20 certification. Indeed, a true proof that they are serious in giving good service with their products and or platforms. So we do expect here in Naga businesses that Eastern Communication will set out to bring competitive advantage and possibilities of the new age to its clients. The company emboldens, we do expect that this company we, uh, emboldens uh, us as partners to embrace emerging technologies and open opportunities. So with that, we do hope that our community of Metro Naga Chamber of Commerce, I being the president, and also the president of an educational institution, the Naga College Foundation, the only t digital TV station in Naga, uh, and my other businesses welcome this move of Eastern Communications, and we do look forward to good service and good uh, internet connectivity for our business to really thrive. Looking forward to meeting with you and doing business. Good afternoon and good luck. Thank you so much, Sir Michael Castaneda. At maraming salamat po sa ating Chamber Representatives, Ms. Rosemary Quinto Ray and Sir Mario Villanueva. Again, maraming salamat for welcoming Eastern Communications in the Bicol region. Now, our dear Ka-Eastern, up next, we have Mr. Edmar Alday, Head of Eastern Communications Luzon Regional Operations, who will be introducing our products and services. With over 24 years of experience with telecommunication companies, he continues to gain more experience as the head of regional operations for Eastern Communications. He is one of the main point persons in the aggressive rollout of Eastern Communications in the Luzon area, supported by his team and many years of experience. He graduated with high distinction from De La Salle das Marinas with a major in supply chain and he then earned his master's degree in business administration from the same university. Our dear Ka Eastern, without further ado, let us all welcome Mr. Edmar Alday. Thank you, Apple, for that warm introduction. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. My name is Edmar Alday. I'm the head of Luzon Regional Operations. I was asked to introduce Eastern Communications to everyone today. Eastern Communications is one of the Philippines' leading telecommunications and ICT solutions company in the country. We at Eastern are committed to servicing and growing our customers' business by understanding their needs, providing relevant products and services, and most especially, providing exceptional customer service. At Eastern, 
On top of solid and reliable technology, delighting our customer is at the forefront of our brand of personalized service because human connections are equally important to us. Like most business, due to the pandemic, we had to accelerate our digital transformation journey. And we ourselves had to quickly shift our focus even more to non-core or non-traditional products and services. From connectivity, which was our main offering, we strengthened our ICT solutions portfolio to address the shifts in the way business is conducted and address the evolving needs of our customers. And now that the economy is opening up and is projected to go back to pre-pandemic levels, we have an extensive portfolio of high-tech and high-touch solutions to help business emerge stronger. Our data, internet, and voice services, which forms our connectivity to solutions, provide you with reliable, congestion-free connectivity when and where you need it. To ensure that your company resources, the devices connected to your network can efficiently communicate with each other networks and enable you to effectively conduct your day-to-day -day business operations. We have a healthy suite of products like SASE, SD1, and Teleworker Gateway under our network solutions portfolio. Our security solutions cover application, endpoint, network, and even cloud resources which protects your data and the data your customer entrusts you with at any stage of the attack vector. Our cloud and data center solutions ensure that you have the right resources to be flexible and, and agile so that you can innovate faster, collaborate seamlessly, and serve efficiently. The way business is conducted has shifted and our business application ensure that your employees are productive and efficient anywhere they are. For Luzon, we have experienced seen some solutions really help many of our partners during and after the pandemic. While we did pivot our services to focus on non-core products, connectivity remains to be a very much needed solutions that many businesses in Luzon continues to request for. Thankfully, we have a number of options available to our partners in Luzon that can meet their individual needs. Another solution is collaboration tools. During the pandemic, with everyone working from home and reporting from different locations, being able to collaborate with your team was more important than ever. Microsoft 365 was highly sought after considering the challenges. With these and other solutions, many companies were able to work from home while being productive and still be able to produce the results required to run the business. Finally, Eastern Cloud, many digital transformation start with the cloud and with our own lo locally hosted cloud, companies have since raised their interest in this solution. Regardless of lockdown, pandemics, or returning back to work, many companies in Luzon still reach out to us to hear more about these solutions and more. And if you are in need, we welcome you to contact us and discuss things further.
We believe that our commitment to provide solutions to fit for our partners' need all starts with a heart of service. And we demonstrate this through our brand of personalized services. We offer right solutions, choose the right talent, and work with only the best partners. As for the segments and industries that we serve includes BPO, ICT, and, se and, and software development, conglomerates, banking and finance, retail, distribution and manufacturing, government and services, international and wholesale, regional operations, small and medium business, and also the consumer. Over the years, we have continued to adhere to international standards and best practices. We have acquired accreditations and certifications that establish our credibility and competency to provide support and maintain our network with stability and consistency. We are the first telco in the country to be ISO 9001-2015 certified, a testament to our commitment in continuously improving the quality of our products and services. We are Carrier Ethernet 2.0 certified with the Metro Ethernet Forum, enabling us to deliver multiple classes of service and manageability over interconnected provider networks. As a Cisco Premier Partner, we reinforce our expertise in network design and implementation. As a Microsoft Silver Partner, we are able to solidify our position as a technical expert in Microsoft Cloud, Collaboration, and Product Solutions. As part of the Eastern's advocacy in bringing innovative high-tech and high-touch experiences to its clients, we ensure best-in-class customer experience through insightful programs such as our Link VIP Club, and Manila Connect Kiosk Partnership. Our Link VIP Club initiative allow us to strengthen our bond and relationship with our partners by extending special perks and privileges to our loyal customers. It exemplifies our vision to have the most delighted and happiest customers and to see their business prosper. Through our Manila Connect Kiosk Partnership, we, should, we show our support to the local government of Manila in their efforts to transform the city of Manila into a more progressive and digitized community for its citizens. Moreover, we have been actively supporting industry associations, NGOs, and communities in bridging the gap in the connectivity and ICT spaces of their businesses by introducing cutting-edge and up-to-date solutions. These collaborations have given us the opportunity to broaden the technological consciousness of local enterprises by sharing new ways of thinking and best practices through esteemed thought leaders featured in our partnerships events. Through our main office located in Makati, Cebu, and Iloilo, including various sales and operations Teams dispersed in our regional TOCs, Eastern Communications ensures consistency in delivering SLAs required by today's modern evolving businesses. 
we we have over 170 nodes throughout the country that provides various wide area network solutions that may address our clients customized requirements we have more than 5000 kilometer of fiber optic cable installed in key cities around the country using our network's dense wavelength division multiplexing or dwdm technology we are able to meet the modern demands of the market by allowing us to manage network traffic through an efficient and scalable approach. Our seven points of presence and major loops across Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao are designed to run through diverse routes, guaranteeing our customers links are protected and redundant, reducing the possibility of our downtime and service interruptions. Our facilities expect calamities. So we have redundant equipment and backup power management in place for certain issues. Finally, like everyone else, the network always need to be monitored and improved. So we monitor and update it as we along go to make sure we are constantly improving. We had a long-standing commitment to see businesses prosper and families better connected. To do our part in nation building, which is why expansion efforts in other regions and areas are ongoing to support nationwide services, especially the underserviced communities. We have already expanded our services to cover Iloilo, Dabao City, Cagayan de Oro, and Bacolod. We will fire up Ligaspi and Sorsegon. This March, with Naga and Dumaguete following closely on April. Rojas, Calibo, Boracay, Sambuanga, Butuan, and Tagbilaran will follow in the coming months. To serve the needs of our customers to connect to their offices and partners outside the country, we have diverse roads and capacities across intra-Asia and trans-Pacific cable networks, ensuring the, ability, the availability of low latency connection between the Philippines and the rest of the world. All the hard work and all the effort that we put into what we do to make sure that we, we provide only the best products and level of service our customers needs and deserve have not gone unrecognized over the years. We have garnered awards from both local and foreign business awards giving bodies. But to us, there are more just awards. To us, these recognitions are testaments to our fulfillment of cutting edge products with service that is unwavering, unflagging, and undeniably strong and a constant reminder for us to continue to do better and always go back to our purpose of bringing back the human connection in everything that we do. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Eastern Communications. I hope I was able to bring justice to our brand and introduce our company properly. My name is Edmar Alday. For any interest of any of our products, please do reach out to us. Thank you again and stay safe.
Wow, thank you so much for that very insightful presentation, Mr. Edmar Alday. Sir, we are beaming with excitement hearing what Eastern Communications has to offer to our Easterns in Bicol. And Shembre highlighting always our innovative, high-tech, and high-touch brand of service that is unique to Eastern Communications. And mga Eastern, I know you all agree, gustong gusto natin naririnig yung customizable product and service modified to fit our business's needs, right? You all agree? Okay, let's see some yeses in the chat box. I'll be waiting for your responses. At ngayon naman, our dear partners, let me ask you, okay pa ba kayo dyan? We want to hear from all of you, so please let us flood our chat box with your comments, your questions for our guest speakers to answer later on on our Q&A session. Dahil we are only getting started. So get ready and share this live stream to your colleagues and your partners who are not yet here. Because apart from the learnings, we have something, something exciting prepared for all of you today. Hmm, what could that be? There's only one way to find out our dear partners. Eastern, Eastern, okay? Stay tuned up until the end of our Via Eastern event. And now, I know after hearing from our chamber representatives earlier and Sir Edmar Alday, I bet you all want to continue and keep our creative and learning juices going. So, our dear partners, let us welcome in our thought leader for today, none other than Ms. Cookie Bartolome. So when it comes to emerging from where we used to stand and forging true connections and meaningful connections, Ms. Cookie has been a champion for years. In the past 30 years, Ms. Cookie Bartolome has made waves in the fields of media, advertising, marketing, and themed experiences. Beginning her career in advertising, Ms. Cookie managed a wide range of local and international clients such as Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble, Globe Telecom, and Jollibee. She later moved to marketing, becoming the head of integrated marketing at ABS-CBN. And most notably, Ms. Cookie played an integral role in the development of ABS-CBN's multimedia campaign, Tabang Na, Tulong Na, Tayo Na. It is a drive to raise donations for the relief and rehabilitation for the survivors of the Bohol quake, the war in Zamboanga, and Typhoon Haiyan. Under her leadership, ABS-CBN was also recognized as the 2015 Agora Award for Marketing Company of the Year. And she held the positions of President and CEO of Play Innovations Incorporated and ABS-CBN Themed Experiences Incorporated, which operated the ABS-CBN Studio Experience, ABS-CBN Studio Tours, and the ABS-CBN Food and Beverage line of business. Ooh, Miss Cookie, here to share with us her expertise and reflection. Let us all welcome her with a warm virtual applause, Miss Cookie Bartolome. Thank you, Apple, for that wonderful introduction. Marhay na adlaw sa Indugabos, ako po si Cookie Salvador Bartolome from Bibingkahan, Sorsogon. It is both my pleasure and privilege to be with all my fellow Bicolanos today to share with you our ABS-CBN story. ABS-CBN Corporation has been the Philippines' largest media and entertainment group for the past 67 years. We were primarily a broadcasting network that ventured into adjacent businesses such as digital terrestrial TV, film production, music, live events, themed experiences, food and beverage, OTT and digital. However, 2020 posed a huge challenge to the company as some of our business ventures were hugely affected by the pandemic, followed by the non-renewal of our broadcast franchise. But despite that, we remained undaunted. And as the saying goes, never waste a crisis. So in 2021, we transitioned from analog to digital. In parallel, we know that the pandemic forced many of our kababayans to embrace digital. We saw growth of various digital platforms like e-commerce, like you know, Shopee, Lazada, and the like, digital payments like PayMaya and Gcash, online live selling, and even the Facebook marketplace. 
Nakita din namin ang patuloy na pagtangkilik ng ating mga kapamilya sa ABS-CBN as viewers tuned in to ABS-CBN Digital for their dose of news and entertainment. Ika nga, andito tayo para sa isa't isa. So we entered 2022 with renewed hope and optimism and a firm game plan. So this afternoon, allow me to walk you through some of these which hopefully, I hope you get some nuggets of wisdom from our experience. Entering 2022, we set our focus on three strategic pillars. First, enhanced user experience on owned and operated platforms. Second, we needed to strengthen partnerships. And third, it's all about content distribution. Let's start talking about pillar number one. One domain, which is our collection of all ABS-CBN websites, remains to be the number one local website and the number three global website in the Philippines, generating over 34 million page views across all our properties. Our OTT platform, I Want TFC, we have actually 5.5 million unique monthly active users. And in the last quarter of, last, of 2021, these people watched 4 billion minutes of content. But we didn't stop at that. On January 10th, we introduced a new UI and UX, which sits on a more robust infrastructure stack to manage our growing user base. It is available in both iOS and Android. However, the web experience has been greatly improved through what is called a progressive web app or PWA. It allows users to generate a shortcut and add it to the home screen so that it looks like an app button. Once on the website, the look and feel is like an app, but without the storage requirements and uses less bandwidth when navigating. We also remove the barrier of having to create an account to view content and provided an anonymous viewing experience. So in you know, just a month of being live, we were already able to record 687,000 anonymous viewers. And these people consumed 131 minutes of content and counting. As the home of Filipino stories, I Want TFC brings fresh new originals, like He's Into Her, which was a huge success for us in 2021. And I'm happy to share that we will be releasing season two soon. And this really goes to show that content is still king. So I'll stop talking here now and introduce Donnie and Belle to talk to you about I Want Originals. Uh, may inspiration ka ba? The next time magluluto ka, isipin mo yung tao yun. Shy Tot the Kosh, Shy Prince Charming ko, Shy Lahat Lahat ko. Shout out to Sweet Girl. This is Josh, Pado trainer dito. Ito. Ikaw to? 230 points. Puti ko pa po nga na. Ayaw mo sa anak ni Lucas. Puro ka nalang Lucas. Kaya na ba? Ang situation ka, hindi ba wala? Ako. Hulog na ang puso ko sa'yo. Walang halong bola. Mahal na kita. The second strategic pillar is to strengthen our partnerships as we cannot do this all on our own. Our partnership with YouTube continues to flourish. In addition to our daily live stream of Kapamilya Online Live and the massive VOD library available, we are experimenting on new short form concepts to expand the profile of our audiences all under the banner of Made for YouTube. And we are very pleased to share with everyone 
our first co-production with YouTube that will be launched this summer. And it's called How to Move On in 30 Days. So sana abangan po ninyo yan. Our Dear MOR podcast is among the Philippines' top 10 podcasts in Spotify. Furthermore, we are developing a live stream for YouTube and Facebook focused on talk shows. And when it comes to audience engagement, Kumu has taken it to another level with virtual gifting that has given a different take to our shows like Pinoy Big Brother and our movie Love at First Stream. Last year, we know that Typhoon Odette wreaked havoc through Palawan, Visayas, and many parts of Mindanao, and that left millions of families displaced. While we may not have the same resources or infrastructure as we had in the past, we will stay true to our mission of being in the service of the Filipino. So we put our heads together to come up with something to help the victims of the typhoon. And that's why Tulong Tulong sa pag came about. It's a 100-day digitally focused initiative. There are 10 different activities, each running for 10 days. So far, we've introduced by request through Third Dare, PBB Tendahan, Kilig, or Kilig Match, a virtual fun run, family fun nights, and currently running is its showtime share time. We needed to engage and reach as many people as possible, which is why we simulcast each event across YouTube, Facebook, and Kumu, allowing our viewers to donate through the different engagement mechanisms of YouTube Super Chats and stickers, Facebook stars, or Kumu virtual gifts, on top of the traditional donation channels like our banks. And through the generous donations, we've been able to help over 200,000 families already and generated over 100 million in donations. So a huge thanks to everyone who has actually helped with this cause. Another partnership we want to forge is to grow the MSME base of advertisers on our platforms. We developed a self-serve platform, Digital Advertising Self-Serve Hub, or what we call Dash for short, which allows anyone to create an account and advertise on ABS-CBN Digital. This will make advertising on our digital platforms accessible, efficient, and affordable to many businesses. This is our way of helping businesses reach their various target markets to help them grow. Kasi for as low as 500 pesos, pwede na mag-advertise ang kahit na sino sa ABS-CBN Digital. At uh, bilang pasasalamat sa lahat ng mga ka-Eastern in attendance here today, all of you actually get a 200 peso discount voucher from ABS-CBN and Dash. You just have to register and use the discount code Eastern to enjoy this. Last but certainly not the least is our effort to bring Filipino talent to the global stage through content distribution deals with regional and global players. We believe that through these collaborations, we can serve more Filipinos. So actually now more than ever, ABS-CBN continues to serve Filipinos through diverse platforms, whether on broadcast, cable, social media, or through OTT, whether regional or global. And more and more, you will be proud to see our original content all over the world consumed not only by Filipinos, but by a global audience. You see, our game plan is really simple. It's to tell the most meaningful stories and to tell them to as many people as possible. And we will continue to provide our audiences groundbreaking content that will touch the hearts of people all over the world. Our Chairman Emeritus, Gabby Lopez, once said that at ABS-CBN, we, be we believe that technology only follows where the human spirit wants to go. And for us, it is guided by our North Star and staying true to our commitment of being in the service to the Filipino. This crisis has brought us many opportunities. It helped us introspect and reimagine. And as I said earlier, 
never put a crisis to waste. Paano mo sa itong mga Bicolano? Magbagyo, baha, as in COVID, tindog man giraray gabus uragon. So thank you again for this opportunity. Diyos mabalos. Thank you so much, Ms. Cookie Bartolome, for sharing with the rest of our Ka Eastern. Let me just say, I agree, content is king. There is no unsolvable challenge when quality content is being served right, mga Ka Eastern. And because the viewers themselves will find a way to consume it by hook or by crook. That is why innovation and partnering up with a reliable connectivity and tools partner is an essential or May I say that it's one great investment for businesses and in the case of digital entertainment to make the new platform accessible to all, including myself. Oh, diba? I'm excited to watch um, how to move on in 30 days. <laughs> Again, maraming salamat po, Ms. Cookie Bartolome. And our dear partners, we will keep the conversation going dahil alam po, curious kayong lahat and want to hear more from our guests today. Kaya naman, magkakaroon po tayo ng Q&A session and we would like to call back our guests starting with Ms. Cookie Bartolome, Ms. Rosemary Quintore, and Sir Edmar Alday. Unfortunately, our dear partners, Sir Mario Villanueva will not be able to join us for our Q&A, but he sends us his best regards. Okay, so we have a lot of very interesting questions for our panel, and I think everyone can learn a thing or two from our guests' answers. Okay, so good afternoon, Paul, Ms. Cookie, Ms. Rosemary, Sir Edmar, and welcome to our virtual stage. Hello, Paul. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, Miss Rosemary. Hi. Hi, Sir Edmar. Hello, everyone. Okay. All right. So, for our first question, so the first question would be a general question for all three of you. So, you can answer each uh, one after the other. So, I'll be starting with Miss Cookie and then followed by Miss Rosemary. And after that, of course, Sir Edmar. So, this is the question from our very curious Ka Eastern. Okay, this is the scenario. We are slowly going back to the office with precautions, of course, and many of us have either gone back to working completely on site, some are introduced to a hybrid setup, and there are those who are extended to the work from home setup for now. So the question from our dear partner is, should we be preparing for anything in particular? Halimbawa na lang, um, are we really heading to the full 100% back to on-site work this year? Or will there be another possible lockdown? So our dear partners just want to hear your opinion about the non-normal and should, be we, should we be preparing or be ready for something? Okay, so Miss Cookie Bartolome. Hi, ma'am. Hi again, Apple. Um, you see, work arrangements really vary, you know, depending on the nature of work or industry that we're in. Um, but I think, or at least I believe, that it's important that when we make decisions, they're based on a long-term view and not merely based on changes in alert levels. Because, di ba, pabago-bago yung alert levels natin, one, two, three, etc. And we know that, you know, if we base decisions on that, uh, those those things can be very volatile. Um, so important things to, to think about long term would be the work environment that we provide our people. Um, is it COVID proof or at least areas where people tend to collaborate um, together? Um, we need to make sure that um, they're um, well ventilated and fixed so that you know we at least mitigate the risk of COVID. Um, also, we have to make sure that you know we have clear guidelines on testing, quarantine protocols. Uh, for instance, no, for us at ABS, kahit alert level one na, yung mga personnel namin na directly involved in daily operations, sila palang ang on-site sa amin. Lahat ng non-operation functions continue to work uh, remotely. Um, so. Whether you continue to work from home or transition to a hybrid setup, I think it's always important to see um, how we can set things up so that 
it does not work uh, affect work productivity. So kanina si Sir Edmar mentioned about uh, collaborative tools. Um, this is something that's been very helpful uh, for me and my team to make sure that uh, productivity is not ano is not compromised. So if there's anything I will prioritize, it's making sure those collaborative tools are in place so that magka lockdown man o hindi yung business continuity natin tuloy tuloy. Thank you, Ms. Cookie, for sharing um, your insight with the rest of our Ka-Eastern. Now, we want to hear from Ms. Rosemary Kintore. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Going back to work depends on the kind of industry involved. Some, like manufacturing, need to be face-to-face. -face. But for other office works that don't need a physical interaction, they should be allowed to work at home or online. Like the case of BPOs under PESA, they need to report to the office or else they will forfeit the incentives they are enjoying as locators. Medyo mayroon daw problema. Uh, yung mga hindi real time, they can uh, work actually at home but uh, because of that uh, incentives. So medyo isang konyang challenge na yun sa kanila to decide. And aside from that, we should also consider the expenses involved in uh, complying with all the protocols needed. Like in the case of our school, we have to uh, comply a lot, lot of requirements which involves a lot of expenses. So how can we cope with it? Uh, hindi naman kami basta pwede mag-increase ng aming tuition because of that, we have to consider that even for disinfecting, it costs a lot. Kung magkaka-face to face classes lahat, eh kailangan every day may disinfection to make sure that the kids are safe. So it involves uh, some amount. And also for the present situation, ng nagtasad ating mga bilihin in including the transport expenses, transportation expenses that will add a problem to our students. So, uh, it's not just easy to just uh, say yes or no. We have to consider the pro and con. But the reality is, nandyan pa rin and online. We like it or not, Nandiyan pa rin yan. Even when we go face-to-face -face in our schools, we will still uh, maintain our online classes. Because there are some students that are outside our locality or even outside of the country that was enrolled. So, the, uh, kailangan, kailangan ang good quality ng telco. Maraming salamat po, Ms. Rosemary Kintere. Now, we want to hear from Sir Edmar. I'll die. Hi, sir. Apple, ang ganda ng punto eh. About um, three weeks ago, nagkaroon ng debate about ano ba talaga yung dapat? Uh, work from home ba ang ipupus natin? Or eto, kailangan na bang back into the office? If we will be seeing the impact talaga nung nangyayari sa paligid natin, kung mananatili, although safety should be the first priority of the government and every one of us, kasi di ba, uh, wala rin tayong business kung mangyayari na kakalat uli magsa-shutdown lang uli ang economy. Pero yung impact sa economy, just imagine, doon sa transport sector natin, sobrang bagsak na. Ala talaga of, of drivers are crying na wala silang kinikita. And also the SMEs. Kung mananatili naman tayo na work from home, it's also a lot of impact din sa SMEs, sa mga canteen, sa mga maliliit na negosyo, sa paligid. Kasi pag pumapasok tayo sa opisina, given, talagang gumagastos tayo. Na ito yung malaki din na kailangan natin mag-recover. Pero either way, si Easter naman, we are ready kung mag uh, sa office, uh, sa bahay man siya gawin. Meron kami ding sinusupport na mga home broadband. In Metro Manila, meron kami. And also we partner with mga resellers na patuloy na dun sa mga areas na talagang kailangan ng internet. We are giving support sa community for the internet service. And yun nga ginagawa namin mga meeting ngayon sa mga companies here na sa Sorsogon kami ang Ligaspi. Isa rin sa pinag-uusapan namin how to strengthen 
na pag nagbalik talaga sila sa normal operation, they have enough capacity of internet that they can be used for them to expand their business then. So parehong tinitinan namin yung sa home broadband and also yung sa support with the, uh, with the companies na, na kailangan ng strong internet connection. Thank you. Salamat po, Sir Edmar Alday. Ayan, agree naman tayo sa mga sinabi ng ating mga guest speakers. Like for example, uh, what was mentioned about collaborative tools for working in a comforts of our homes. And if ever now we consider going full blast with on-site working, syempre make sure to comply with the health and the safety protocols. And like what Ms. Rosemary said, let us utilize the collaborative tools and adapt to the new or the now normal. And for whatever our partners and businesses needs, like what Sir Edmar said, Eastern Communications is here to provide that reliable service. Maraming maraming salamat po. And syempre, salamat sa ating ka-Eastern for throwing in that question. And now, we're going to be moving on to our more specific questions to our guests. So we will be starting again with Ms. Cookie Bartolome. Hi, ma'am. So this is a question from our partner. Okay, the digital journey sounds amazing and sounds like something that is still continuing to evolve. So what would you say is the integral or what is integral to your digital transformation and without it, you would be sure to have failed in your journey? Ms. Cookie? Salamat sa nagtanong, Apple. Um, you know, it's uncanny, no, that uh, there are very similar things between Eastern and what we think in ABS-CBN. Eastern talks about high tech and high touch, and I think that's something that um, that we truly embrace as well, because um, it's important that we find the right technology solutions, but balancing it out with um, the human aspect of it. And by human, it's both internal and external. It's our people. Uh, making sure that we shift to the right mindset, to this new digital mindset, but at the same time, bearing in mind how our, how to engage audiences. Ngayon na digital na nga tayo. So I think yun yung important balancing act na importante kasi the technology will continue to evolve and change. No? Ngayon may mga kung ano-ano ng tinatawag na mga NFTs at ano-ano pa ang papupuntahan, hindi na natin alam. Uh, padami ng padami. Pero um, tulad nga ng sinabi ko, it's really where the human spirit that we have to follow. Um, so regardless of what the change in technology is, it's how it connects to people that we need to understand. Uh, so it ha we still have to be customer-centric at the end of the day. And siguro ang pinaka-importanting lesson na natutunan namin dito sa pag-shutdown sa ABS-CBN, no, yung pagtanggal ng broadcast franchise namin, hindi siguro, we probably wouldn't be able to um, pivot to digital as fast if we continued to remain in broadcast because our mindset would have always been broadcast first. But now that we're forced to go to digital, we're, we're forced to unlearn and learn and upskill with new tools as far as digital is concerned. So, Thank you so much, Ms. Cookie, for answering our partner's question. And now, we are going to be moving on to the question for Ms. Rosemary Kintor Ray. Hi, Ms. Rosemary. So this Hi. is the question for you, ma'am. Um, Albay Chamber continues to champion businesses. How can we better help Albay Chamber um, achieve your goals and how do we become better members? Well, first, Albay Chamber is uh, right now advocating e-commerce because we see it as one way to help the MSMEs. They need better connection, hopefully not only in terms of quality, but also in pricing. Yung ma-afford ng mga MSMEs, that's, that's very uh, important. Now, I'll be wearing another hat. That is as Albay ICT Association President and as uh, Legaspi City uh, IT A Covers Council uh, Co-Chair with the Mayor and as past President of National ICT Confederation of the Philippines. Uh, it is our advocacy to encourage freelance work. Kasi, doon sa freelance work, may pandemic o wala, siguradong may trabaho ka. Kasi nasa bahay ka lang and you are earning dollars. At, at yung pera na ine-earn mo, ginagastos mo sa community mo. 
not a, not a, uh, saying something uh, negative to the big, big uh, BPOs. Iyon, hindi naman nila dinadala lahat na pera nila sa Pilipinas. Kasi their, their mother uh, company is in the US or in abroad. So, it's more practical to uh, train our people na do, ng freelance work. We have been advocating that. At iyon, ang naging challenge lang sa aming mga trainings is connectivity. We have uh, trained uh, almost half, uh, more than 500 uh, people for that. And even uh, DSWD gave uh, free uh, laptop or tablet for those trainees. But hindi rin maging successful because of the connectivity. Kaya na, natuwa ako na narinig ko yung home broadband. Baka pwede natin yan eventually may apply And uh, we want uh, lately, right now, uh, even the USAID and the uh, 2.0 project in Legas before out of school use, they will be conducting a freelance training. And we need connection. Good connection. So maybe... Uh, that's the first thing that you can help the chamber. And aside from that, we need support because we want to advocate and we need somebody to help us in the orientation or for giving webinars and forums. And I know Eastern can help us with that and also of the latest technology. And... And we hope that in the years to come, uh, Legaspi will be ready for the township. There is a big opportunity in Legaspi. That is the township. And it needs trainings, good connectivity for investors. So, kailangan, kailangan talaga wag na inyong hintayin, patagalin ang inyong pasok sa Legaspi. We welcome all those that can help us. And we as uh, my chamber, will be at your back. Kung may problema kayo even with the LGUs, we can help facilitate it. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Of course, Ms. Rosemary Quinto Rima. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Hindi na namin papatagalin. <laughs> Dahil tama nga naman po kayo, e-commerce talaga is here to stay yes. and withstanding everything. Diba? Kaya adapting to the change is something which we should always be open to. And like what you said, training our homegrown talents is a topmost priority for the chamber. And we're here to provide strong and reliable connection, Ms. Rosemary. Ayan, maraming salamat po. And now, next is a question for Sir Edmar Alday. Hello, sir. Magandang hapon po. So this is a question from our Ka Eastern. Okay, Eastern Communications is an ICT solutions provider. But what makes you different from the current connectivity businesses already available to us? Sir Edmar. Thank you, um, Apple, for that question. Actually, yung, yung mantra talaga ni Eastern, kung titingnan mo, high-tech and high-touch. But all telecom companies, they provide high-tech services. And they all partner with different high-tech uh, uh, um, providers, yung mga ICT providers nila. Ang nakikita ko malaking differentiator ni, ni Eastern is yung high touch niya. With our meeting with the most of the businesses here in Sorsogon and Legazpi, one of the major things na nagugustuhan nila, bumaba ba kami sa mga stakeholders? Kasi we, we believe that every company has their own different requirements pertaining to the internet, pertaining to the solutions that they need. Yung hospital, ibang pangangailangan niya sa manufacturing. Uh, as, di ba, yung sabi nga ni Ma'am Rose, yung manufacturing natin dapat pumapasok na yan. Kasi, pag hindi pumasok yan, how they can produce the product? And with, with the meetings that we've conducted here with uh, LGUs, with uh, um, government agencies, Nakikita nila yung pinanggagalingan namin kung ano yung requirement nila, doon kami nagpo-focus. Yung touch talaga na malaman namin kung ano ba yung need ng community. Although we are B2B, uh, business to business talaga yung approach namin, but 
we also tapping yung nagbebenta rito sa mga residentials. Now we can partner with them to give them access to the strong internet and eventually yung sa mga household makarating din kami ron. And ang kaganda nung napapag-usapan namin with DICT lang, we've identified some of the trainings talaga needed. Number one, for the mga agents of the call center, we can provide training then with the IT. Ang daming IT na na dito sa Sorsogo, na dito sa Ligaspi, na dito sa Naga. But yung, yung technology, medyo may missing link doon. Na kailangan ng human touch to train them, to partner with them, and to increase their business acumen pertaining to this uh, technology. So that sabay-sabay, pwede tayong uusad na hindi lang yung telco yung umaangat, yung community rin, kasabay natin umaangat. At pag umangat itong communities na to, yung business ne, businesses sa area, will talagang magbuboom siya. And eventually, lalaki lahat ang negosyo dito sa Bicol. And sana yun niya sa mga nakamiting namin, marami rito na nasa meeting natin ngayon, mga attendees natin, we touch base with them, we talk with them, and yung mga hinaing nila, ano ba yung, kasi high tech, minsan daw nakakausap nila yung kanilang mga other telco company. But after the application, wala na silang makausap. Pag may problems na sila, wala na silang makausap. Yun ang isang gusto namin baguhin kasi meron kaming tinatawag na for hierarchy. Na pag hindi mo matawagan ng AM namin as a cluster head, pwede akong sumagot ng tawag. Yung regional head namin can answer a call. Ang sales head namin can answer a call. Aside from yung sa ibang level namin, doon sa sales, sa uh, support escalation. Meron din kaming sales escalation na tinatawag. Yun ang gusto naming patunayan, yung high touch namin, is the differentiator for what we are doing right now. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, Sir Edmar Alday, for answering our Ka-Eastern's question. Tama nga naman, diba? There is no cookie-cutter solution to each of our partners' challenges and problems. Kaya what sets us apart, Eastern Communications, is our high-tech and high-touch response because we don't consider our business partners' numbers, but our dear partners in Ka-Eastern. Alright, maraming salamat po. And that actually caps off our Q&A segment. And again, nagpapasalamat po ako sa ating mga guests for your interesting insights and being here this afternoon. And we are grateful for a fun and light learning experience. Now, before I let you three relax or chillax, okay, I'd like to ask for your parting messages to our dear ka-partners or ka-Eastern watching us right now. So let's start with Miss Cookie Bartolome. Again, thank you first of all for this opportunity no, to speak, um, to share the story of ABS-CBN with our esteemed guests today. And siguro I just want to leave people with this message. Um, the times are hard and it will continue to be challenging, but it's always important to turn challenges into opportunities. And um, we should, that shouldn't stop us from growing and expanding, whether we do it through pivots. But I think the more important thing is to always forge uh, strong partnerships. Look for reliable partners who will help you grow and, you know, both of you will grow along the way. So I think those are um, my key points that I want to leave, uh, leave our audience today. Just mabalos. Salamat po, Ms. Cookie. And now, we'd like to hear from Ms. Rosemary Quinto Ray. Well, uh, your coming to Bicol is very timely. We need better and additional connections that will help us to be innovative in order to achieve our goal. The goal of Legazpi City in particular is to be one of the 25 digital cities in the Philippines by 2025. So, we are now moving fast to be one of those 25. And lately, and if, if three days ago, uh, there are even some opportunities waiting. And sinisiguro lang namin good connectivity. Mayroon na mga nag-inquire for uh, na papasok na mga business, BPOs, but we need ang maaasahan talagang telcos na hindi kami mapapahiya. Thank you. Maraming salamat to, Ms. Rosemary. And now, lastly, Sir Edmar Alday. 
Yeah. Apple actually yung approach ni Eastern dito sa Bicol, it's a different approach. We are not calling yung mga subscriber namin as subscriber. We are calling the, them partners. Actually, may mga nadadaanan kami na they are requiring a higher bandwidth. But during our scoping, parang overkill naman yung offer. Parang uh, part din ng high touch namin na parang we are concerned that every centavo that you will be paying Eastern is worth the business talaga na mangyayari sa'yo. Na pagtingin naman namin, oh, uh, parang tatlong user yun, mag-apply ka ng 100 MB. We are require, requiring them to lower the bandwidth and proceed with upgrade afterwards. Kasi ang hirap naman, nababayad ka sa'kin sa ng malaki, then eventually ma ma malalaman mo na overkill naman pala yung uh, ino-offer namin, na sobrang laki na binabayaran mo. Eventually, hindi ako magiging trusted business advisor para sa'yo. And talagang ini-scrutinize namin yung every requirement and every solutions. We are identifying then even the LGUs. Uh, uh, with the LGUs, ginagamit lang nila ng 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock ang kanilang connectivity. Why not yung pa, pa, from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning, we use that connectivity into something productive. Now, wherein we can push that on the community para magkaroon ng bagong perspective na magkakaroon ng business on the ground. Kasi ang lakas ng internet dito, ang daming pupunta na mga estudyante or mga ibang tao para mag-access ng internet. And eventually, yung mga magpipisbol, yung mga maliliit natin ng mga negosyante can also earn do sa binabayaran ng LGU without additional cost for them. And we are also identified yung mga far away areas na we partnered with mga ibang high-tech suppliers na we can provide internet even do sa mga areas dito sa Bicol na talagang remote na. So talagang every island dito sa Bicol, can, we, we can serve the internet na kailangan nila, na iba't ibang opportunity for us and also a business opportunity for every Bicolanos. I'm also, uh, yung mother ko kasi is also from Bicol and this is our legacy to give way, to give back yung technology na kailangan talaga ng mga kababayan natin sa Bicol. And sana, yeah, Eastern can be of help doon sa mga negosyante natin at sa mga nasa bahay natin na nag strive hard to make a difference na magkaroon ng magandang internet connection sa Pilipinas. Maraming salamat. Maraming maraming salamat po Sir Edmar Alday and Sir Narinig ko nga. It was a refreshing take on the community Wi-Fi project. So sana lahat yan, sana all, may experience natin all throughout the Philippines. And again, maraming maraming salamat po to our dear partners for sending in your questions. And I hope we all got to learn from each other during our Q&A session. And ako personally, I took notes of some points valuable to me. And I hope you did to our dear ka Eastern. And once again, maraming maraming salamat to our esteemed guests for sharing your thoughts and your expertise with us this afternoon. Woo -woo! And now, our dear Ka Eastern, truly, it is during this time that we know how important it is to be reaching out to our family, to our colleagues, and to our business partners virtually at least. And that's why in Eastern Communications, we always put you our customers, our top of mind priority. So let us get to know more about Via Eastern by watching this exciting video. Eastern Communications is the first telecommunications company in the Philippines, giving the Philippines access to reliable, secure, and cutting edge technologies and enabling businesses with an unwavering support and commitment to service. We have pioneered future-proof solutions, and together, we have strengthened our connections across the country. Over the years, Eastern has been consistent in providing reliable connectivity, in developing cutting-edge technologies, and in giving an unmatched level of service that SMEs and enterprises in the Philippines deserve. From Luzon to Visayas and Mindanao, Eastern provides agility and efficiency for you. We have emerged stronger in key cities, municipalities, and forged connections with businesses from different industries, making us your partner of choice.
and we are unstoppable. In 2022, seeing you prosper through our expansion is our mission. Via Eastern, a brighter tomorrow awaits. Through our solutions fit for your needs and beyond. Via Eastern, we emerge brighter than before helping us strengthen existing connections and forge true, new, and trusted ones. And as your esteemed partner of choice, your success fuels us to be stronger. Join us as we emerge stronger together. This is Via Eastern 2022, forging true connections. Emerging stronger together. Wow, salamat sa inyong lahat, our dear ka Eastern, for staying until the end of our program. We are more than honored to have you guys here with us because at Eastern Communications, we are powered by the connections we have made and will continue to make. At excited kami na makasama kayong lahat for the years to come. And as we draw near to the end of our event, we have our Eastern Communications co coordinators to give us a few words of inspiration so please make sure to stay with us until the end of Via Easter. Hello mga ka-Eastern! I'm Eileen Regio, your Eastern Communications Co-Coordinator. And I am Vincent Tempolco, your Eastern Communications Co-Coordinator. During these unusual times, it's easy to feel disconnected. In the past few years, one of our biggest challenges is to make sure that we never lose sight of the connections we have with our loved ones. Emerging from this was no easy feat, but luckily, Eastern has been there and will continue to be there for you. To help you rise up from the turmoil and to help you bridge those gaps. Now in our 143rd year, we have a long history as a trusted communications brand. We want to continue to reinforce the trust as we help you emerge stronger through personalized solutions for your business. True and strong connections are what we all want of you to achieve. From reinforcing your business in the digital landscape to create even more connections and opportunities for you for this year and beyond. Through our high-tech products and high-touch services, we seek to help you forge strong and true connections and to emerge stronger as a leader in your industry. We want to help you not only in strengthening your digital front, but deepening the human connections we all have with each other. We aim to help you emerge not only as fighters, but winners as well in the connections you make through Eastern and the experiences you gain. If you stay connected with each other, then we will be able to emerge stronger from any challenge. Eastern ensures that we will be with you every step of the way. And so, we end this with a short message to our Eastern partners. We will continue to forge stronger and true connections. And our company will continue to fight to emerge from our biggest challenges in pursuit of big opportunities. And we will never tire to provide high-touch and high-tech products and services. And as our partners, we will continue our efforts to empower you and assure you that you don't have to be afraid to take that leap of faith and emerge stronger with us. Because the strongest and truest connections are the ones we make together. Thank you always, Attorney Eileen Rahil and Sir Vince Temponco for reminding us always of the things that truly matter. Personalized service, and strong and reliable connection delighting you, our dear Ka-Easterns. And now, I hope you're all fired up because we have talked about Via Eastern and we cannot wait to share more good news to all of you, our partners. And I'm sure everyone is getting ready for your merienda. So as our way of thanking you all, magkakaroon po tayo ngayon ng raffle. Yes, an event is never complete without one. Tama ba mga Ka-Eastern? Yes? 
Okay, so this afternoon, we have prepared raffle prizes for everyone to have a chance to grab. So today, we will be drawing and announcing one winner who will take home a voucher worth 5,000 credits from ABS-CBS Dash and then followed by two winners who will get the chance to win 1,000 pesos worth of e-gift certificate each and of course, one major raffle winner who will get the chance to win how much? 3,000 pesos worth of e-gift certificate. Woo -hoo! So a quick reminder for all of our winners, okay? Please make sure to take a screenshot of your name once we flash it on the screen and email it to us at marketing at etpi.com.ph with a subject line via Eastern Raffle Winner. And please do not forget to include your details like your full name, your company name, your position, your contact number in the email body so we can contact you ASAP. All right, I'm super excited. Okay, Maka Eastern. Are you all ready to see your name splashed on screen? Yes? Yes? Okay. I won't keep you waiting anymore because I am as excited as you are. So, let's roll it. Okay, our first winner, who will be the sole winner of the Dash 5,000 worth of credit, goes to... Okay, our winner is none other than... Me. Kidding. Okay, congratulations to... Jose T from Okay, this is from Satellite TV. Congratulations, John T. Bulan Satellite TV. Woohoo! You are our winner of the Dash 5000 Peso worth of credit. And now you can enjoy Dash with your 5000 Peso worth of credit. You can start advertising and reach your customers and eventually grow your business with Dash Digital Advertising Solution. So congratulations to you, Ms. John. All right, so now, okay, up next, we are drawing the first minor raffle winner to take home 1,000 pesos worth of e-gift certificate. And the first to receive this one is none other than Sino Naba. Congratulations to Ronnie De Leon from Marathon Hotel. Congratulations to Ronnie. You are our first winner of our 1,000 pesos worth of e-gift certificate. And now, quickly followed by the second minor raffle winner who will also be grabbing that 1,000 pesos worth of EGC is none other than Ronnie De Leon. Okay, dun 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 dun. Congratulations, James Bonas from Theorem Incorporated. Congratulations, James. Now you and Sarani have more spending money to give to yourself. Okay, you can have your me time, love yourself, meet and treat. Okay, woohoo! Congratulations, our first three winners. And ngayon naman mga Eastern for our final pasabog today, we will be flashing the name of our major raffle winner who will be a proud spender of the 3,000 peso worth of e-gift certificate this weekend or maybe later. Okay, so drum roll please. Dun, 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 dun. And our major raffle winner is none other than... Okay, congratulations to Carmelo. Griarte. Congratulations, Sir Carmelo. You just won yourself 3,000 peso worth of e-gift certificate. So please do not forget to share the experience with someone special to you. Nux. Sana all. And again, a big congratulations to all of our raffle winners, guys. We're super jealous right now. <laughs> okay, for now, for those of you, our Ka-Easterns, who, who are still here, whose names have not been called yet during the raffle, do not be sad because we will turn your crown upside down because nobody is going home empty-handed details of via Eastern events. So we will be sending out a survey for you to answer. Dial dito sa Eastern Communications, we value your feedback para alam namin kung paano namin kayo matutulungan in the future. So once you scan the QR, you will be asked to fill out the necessary data and when you're done, you will receive a voucher through your email address. So please keep your lines open. And again, while you get busy working on the survey, I will be wrapping up this delightful event and give you all a big, big thank you for being with us today at Via Eastern. Let us emerge stronger together, mga ka-Eastern. This has been Apple Great, your host, 
Goodbye for now. Stay safe always. Dios mabalos, everyone.